To be a goalkeeper, you have to be a little bit crazy. It takes a certain kind of person to be back there, a person who's willing to step out and be separated from the group. Literally, you're wearing a different jersey from anyone else, even on your own team. You have to multitask. You have to make a decision and stick with it. You have to come up in those big couple moments and you know those decide the biggest games. It takes a lot of mental toughness. When you have four keepers, you can train them a little bit harder. I've been able to do that a little bit more this season when I couldn't do that last fall because the main priority is making sure they were all fit and ready to go. We all push each other to our limits and we're not one of these goalkeepers that's going to be mad when somebody else makes a, like, a good save. I think we're really glad to see each other doing good because that's like good, it helps the team. Much better. There's only going to be one guy in every game. So that week leading up to the training, you know, we're working hard, we're pushing the guy that's going to be starting the most, you know, making him play to his best ability. Remember you can move him, remember you can move him. Up, safe. Andre is the definition of professionalism. He has that mindset of once he hits the field, it's business. He pushes me every day to get better. I push him every day to get better. He's kind of an oddity, to be honest. He's got that frame on him. And I remember the first time the coaching staff, we saw him, we wondered where the rest of him was um, because he was so slight. Well done. I admire the kid because he just packed up his bags and came to the States and didn't really know what it was going to be like. You know, obviously the only thing that we knew was that he was a good goalkeeper. He represented his country at a youth level. He was part of a professional youth academy. Soccer is my passion. Like, I've been playing soccer for all my life. So it was really hard for me to leave Croatia. Uh, but my family was a really big support. And once I got here, the transition was really hard. I changed language, I changed culture. That wasn't easy. When he first came into USF in his freshman year, obviously the language barrier between English and Croatian was pretty hard for him at first. I didn't know really soccer, like English soccer phrases, so I couldn't really communicate with my, with my teammates at the beginning. I knew what to say, but I just didn't know the expressions. I think it's one area that he is kind of weak on because again, it's a, it's a side of his game he never focused on. Uh, as a youth player and it's something we've really been focusing on this year and, and it's so much better if I, I look back to how he was as a freshman and even just in the, the time he's been here it's improved so much. Right now his English is as best as ever been and it's really cool to see how, how that has developed and progressed. My teammates and everyone was really supportive and I felt really like at home like I have another family here. When it comes to a game day, you feel a lot of things. The first thing you feel is excitement, and it is usually followed up with uh, anxiety and maybe nervousness. But once you come out on that field and you see your teammates and how everyone's so excited to play, you just know you'll do good. It's on the ground to save Mike He has the spotlight right now because he is coming up big. Great save by Glasnovich. Fantastic reaction save. He showed in the last two home games that he kept us in the game, you know. He showed his qualities. He shows that there's a reason why Eddie recruited him. There's a reason why he's playing for us. Reached here. This is Lomelli. Chance to win it. Great save by Glasnovich. Their best player one-on-one -on -one with Glasnovich. Wow, I thought the game was over. When Andre comes up with those big-time saves late in the game, corner comes in, the header comes off, and he's down making a great save. And the team goes crazy, and everyone loves it. That just solidifies the fact that we did what we need to do to get this guy ready to come up big time. Oh, it's a save by Glasnovich. He does terrifically well. Langsdorf is in there, and Glasnovich is able to get to the ball first. Once you make that save, you see the crowd going crazy and it's an amazing feeling. Right in, far side, cleared away by Glasnovich. 
Oh, it's a great save by Glasnovich. It's really well done. Yes! It's not just one guy succeed, it's the whole team that succeed and to get to celebrate that win is just a great experience.